So fitting that Putnam County joins the ranks of professional sports. Westchester has the Hawks, Duchess has the Renegades, and now the Hattrick as Brewster has the Bulldogs. The Brewster Bulldogs are the newest franchise of the Federal Hockey League. Bruce Bennett is the owner of the Brewster Bulldogs. I spent um, 40 years in the automobile industry. I started selling cars actually in Mount Kisco, New York, and I at one time owned three dealerships. I loved the car business. I loved everything about it. Uh, I felt that it was time for me to do something different, retire a little bit. So it was either sit home and watch the birds or do something. And that something was this to own a hockey franchise. I found hockey about three years ago. Actually, I was a sponsor, Bruce Bennett Nissan. So I learned the game, but more importantly, I fell in love with the players. And so Bruce made a commitment to support hockey. When the Danbury Whalers pro hockey team folded, Bennett struck a leasing deal with the Danbury Ice Arena and started the Danbury Titans. Meanwhile, another league team from Watertown was about to lose their home ice due to renovations at their arena, and the loss of a sixth team would put the entire league in danger because it needed six teams to operate, not five. So Bruce collected former players from the Whalers and invited the players from Watertown to come to Brewster. And like his car dealership history, one franchise quickly turned into two. Something that Honestly, I wasn't looking forward to, but um, I was already in Danbury. I didn't want it to fall apart. The league would have fallen apart, so I stepped in and I took over the franchise. So here I am, two teams, but you know it's are 20 minutes away. And has created an instant rivalry. Brewster or Danbury? Danbury. Brewster! Danbury. Danbury. Well, we're kind of divided, but I'm hoping Brewster wins. <laughs> the Santini family, owners of the Brewster Ice Arena, are thrilled that professional hockey found its way to the area. You know, when it all came about late in the spring, um, we were excited about the opportunity to have the first professional team in Putnam County. And this facility is perfectly suited for the Bulldogs because of its vast array of accommodations. In the main building, we have over 90,000 square feet. We have two NHL rinks, a studio rink. We have a pro shop, snack bar, a full service restaurant, and sports bar, a banquet room, the gym on the third floor where the guys all train. Uh, two years ago, we put in the outdoor surface, uh, which is a lot of fun. We have our winter classic you know when the high schools play in the winter season which is really it's a great venue the players come from all over the world when we had our mini camp we had 10 from Russia from the Ukraine from Czechoslovakia from Finland from Italy and a few right out of college like Matt Cooper. I, uh, I graduated from Iowa State University with a degree in economics and one as well in agricultural business. And uh, so I'm finished with the college venture and um, I'm looking to you know, become a pro and Danbury's a great place to start. So there is an international flavor and it's head coach David Lund's job to help them communicate. When you play hockey, and especially at this level, you kind of speak the language of the sport. So um, in essence, they all speak the same language. These players aren't making a lot of money, the league has a salary cap of $4,300 a week per team, spread out over 18 players. And that's an average of $238 a week per player. So it's more about the love of the sport, but these players are thankful for a franchise owner that has a love for them. The commitment that these young guys make, I provide uh, room and board for them. And thankfully, helping to defray some of the costs are area sponsors. We try to be involved in many aspects of the community. Be a, a donation or a volunteer. We're there and we're part of the community. We believe in volunteering and giving back to the community in which we live and work. And that's not only important for me, but for all, for all the staff of the, of the credit union. That's our philosophy, you know, people helping people. We're really excited to have the Brewster Bulldogs open up here in Putnam County and uh, I just want to say thank you to Bruce Bennett and Ed Crow for knowing that Putnam County is really ready for this opportunity. Family, affordable entertainment is what we're looking for here. I am thrilled to be here, Charlie, and I've never had the pleasure of dropping a puck before. <laughs> so this is going to be a lot of fun. Once the ceremonial puck was dropped, the season was officially on.
The Titans ruined the Bulldogs' home opener with a 6-1 win, but this night was not about wins and losses. It was about marking the start of a professional franchise in Putnam County. We've got the Bulldogs. We've got hockey. We're very excited. And while the Bulldogs may have lost the game, owner Bruce Bennett won the night.